Welcome to Truth Prevail. Um, as you all may be aware, earlier this month, um, a letter was published in support of Amber Heard. On November 17th, um, several letters were written in support of Johnny Depp. Today I'm going to be reading uh, comments from survivors, experts, and allies of survivors in support of the open letter found on change, uh, change.org. There are over 5,000 comments at the moment. I'm only going to be reading a few today. The link uh, for the change.org petition is down below in the description box, and you can still sign it. And I quote, we experts, survivors, and allies of survivors of intimate partner violence support all victims of abuse. We condemn the continued defamation and re-victimization of Johnny Depp by the media and other individuals and organizations. We join together in support of him. We support the ability of all victims of intimate partner violence, sexual violence, as well as defamation to report their abuse free of harassment. However, we condemn all false accusations of abuse, especially when the accused is the victim. Because I'm a survivor with BPD and I see the red flags in Amber, I've been on both sides and know she lied. Leave the man alone so he can heal in peace. I'm an abuse survivor and Johnny deserves justice, peace, and be able to live his life without having to worry about an abuser continuing to ruin, continue to try to ruin his life. Amber Heard is a proven abuser who thinks she and her fans can believe to bully Johnny Depp and his fans, many of whom are real survivors. I'm a male survivor of sexual assault and domestic violence, and I stand with Johnny Depp. As a survivor of DV, who initially believed the claims against Johnny Depp, I was appalled with when the actual truth came out in court. Abuse has no gender and to continue the abuse through campaigns in the name of Me Too is deplorable. As a survivor, I feel Johnny Depp has been abused not only by Amber Heard but by MSM. I never look at People, The Washington Post, NBC, and many others with respect I used to hold for them. P.S. I'm a licensed professional. I'm signing this pet petition as a DVSA survivor who did watch all the UK depositions and the entire six-week trial in Fairfax, Virginia. And I know without any doubt or reservation, Johnny Depp is 100% innocent of those disgusting allegations. I too have been a victim of abuse and recognize the victim abuser. I am disgusted that Johnny Depp's abuser continues to engage organizations that should be supportive of him as the victim rather than taking on role of flying monkeys for the abuser. The continued ignorance that victims share, being disbelieved, whether by family, friends, court, custodial, is perpetuated by Amber Heard and organizations that choose to support her. I'm a survivor who has also worked with trafficking victims in a legal capacity. I watched this trial, attended, read, and listened to most of the docs and audio that, that's been circulating on this for years. I agree with the jury and most of the viewing public that Amber Heard is a liar. It's also disgusting to excuse physical abuse behavior. She's on tape justifying, don't be a baby, merely because she's a woman. If the genders were switched, there'll be no question how those actions would be viewed. I'm Angelica, I rise beyond abuse, and I stand with Johnny Depp. I'm a survivor and advocate for domestic abuse victims, and I fully support the content therein. I have also worked 20 years in the legal and criminal justice field, so I have first-hand experience with domestic cases in the courtroom as well and agree this needs to stop. Something needs to be done immediately. I work in the field of neurology and have seen children with the same traits as Amber Heard, and their behavior is horrific. When families seek help, it can be achieved not only for them, but for others who would otherwise be put in harm's way. Encouraging Amber Heard's behavior is putting her child and family in danger, and any future partner. 
I pray for the child's welfare and I hope that her family stops covering for her and gets her the help that she needs. Sally, the support for Amber Heard is not about victims, but about money and a movement. Johnny Depp is a survivor and the treatment by feminists and MSM towards him shows they are they care nothing for victims or survivors. Abuse has no gender. As a psychologist who talks with DV and essay survivors in my everyday work, infuriates me to see the level of gaslighting and bullying this person is willing to go to continue to abuse JD. Violence has no gender. AH's actions and words continue to re-victimize real survivors. Shame on her. Her vilification is well-deserved and justified as she engaged in atrocious acts including the false allegations and the appropriation of real DV essay search stories. These actions should be shamed and vilified as a message that lying and abuse are fundamentally wrong. First responder, ally of survivors. Domestic violence survivors with a degree in psychology focus on family and community dynamics. I am a licensed therapist practicing in the UK. I counsel many victims of DV and IPV in the course of my work. I watched the entire six-week trial. The evidence proved that Amber Heard lied. There is ample evidence of her lies. In my opinion, Amber Heard perpetrated all five forms of IPV against Mr. Depp over the course of their relationship. As a professional, I and many others in my field believe it is important to weigh all of the evidence in these cases and support victims regardless of gender. Male victims of abuse do exist and they are much more prevalent than many people think. In addition, a significant percentage of female abusers will falsely accuse their partners of abuse. In my opinion, the jury made the correct decision. Where is the open letter for Harvey Weinstein and Ghislaine? What Amber Heard did was criminal. Instead of reporting on her actions so that she could stop defaming her ex, MSM publishes a letter of support for her that her PR legal team provides. This is not right. I stand with survivors. I will not stand with malicious agendas that pick and choose who can and who cannot be a survivor so that it fits their ideology. Signing for all DV essay victors, also signing for them as they're still being victimized by the Amber Heard show. Signing for three men I know who are abused by women and have been afraid to come forward. For my two youngest children, cautionary tale, also signing for Mr. John C. Depp. The man endured over six years of being treated in horrific ways. If you watch the trial and listen to the tapes, it's obvious Johnny was the abused and Amber was the perpetrator. To MSN and other MSM and other Amber Heard supporters, why keep six years of lying going? Why hold so, why hold so tight to the garbage narrative that all women must be abused? This is false. Abuse has no gender. Oh, and for the record, Johnny Depp proved his case unanimously in a court of law where a jury and judge listened and contemplated the case. Stop with the tricks, Amber. So Johnny Depp's there. I'm so damn tired of seeing Johnny Depp have to keep on fighting. This absolutely breaks my heart. MSM and big business have done a lot of damage without investigating the matter. They vilified Johnny Depp for six years and now they're not even apologizing. Johnny Depp is a survivor. He deserves to be treated with respect. Anyone can be a victim of domestic violence. Any innocent person can be framed as a criminal. Let's stand by all victims and seek justice through evidence. So-called experts who refuse to acknowledge that men can be victims of domestic violence are not worth the paper their credentials are printed on. It is unacceptable that the mainstream media is joining in with Johnny Depp's abusive wife to continue to defame him after it was already proven in court, she not only maliciously lied about him, but she's violent and seriously injured him. And to allow this dishonest defaming of all who support him because we follow the evidence is journalistic malpractice. Porque vi el juicio en Virginia y me pareció justo. Ambos presentaron pruebas y Johnny Depp ganó.
History will frown upon those who prioritize gender over truth. Abuse knows no gender should have been learned in kindergarten. If you did not watch the trial, you are not an expert and should not comment on it. Sempre acredité y acredito na inocencia de Johnny Depp. It looks like continued revictimization and harassment based on gender-based prejudice to me. We need to support and protect Johnny so that he heals from this significant ongoing trauma and get on with his life. Men can be victims of DV too, and they also have a right to be taken seriously and receive justice. I am a survivor of intimate partner abuse and violence, as is Johnny Depp. I watched every minute of his defamation trial against Amber Heard. The jury got the verdict 99% right. Their only error was finding Johnny liable for a statement made by Adam Waldman. All other findings were in support of Johnny Depp and were 100% correct. When someone lies about you in such a terrible way, why should you just sit there and let them destroy your life? If Johnny was a woman, these experts would have been right behind him encouraging him. But he's a man, so him trying to clear his name is revenge? Even though the jury found that A.H. lied with actual malice, these experts still want to make her the victim. She's not a victim. She's a liar. Abuse has no gender, and no amount of expert feminists, activists, producers, writers, or biased journalists who try to relitigate this is going to change that.